And this is a story you'll only see on City News. An Ontario judge accused of misconduct is trying to have almost every single detail of the allegations against him kept secret. He even tried to have his own name put under a publication ban. Tonight, a story that raises more questions about accountability and transparency on the bench. Is it fair to say that the judging of judges is done in relative secrecy? A judge in Sudbury is facing a misconduct hearing here in Toronto, and his lawyers want a blanket publication ban on all evidence, even the judge's name. They also want the hearing itself to be held behind closed doors. So what's Justice John Keist accused of doing? Well, it's hard to know. The notice of hearing only says he is accused of engaging in conduct and acting in a manner contrary to the impartiality, integrity, and independence of the judiciary. Lawyers are great at using euphemisms that take up a lot of space and say very little of nothing. Defense lawyer David Butt is a longtime proponent of more accountability in the judicial complaints process. My read on that is that there was some inappropriate communication about a case outside of court. Judge Keene's lawyers have already lost a battle for a publication ban on their client's own name, but did win the right to keep all evidence sealed away from public eyes. And next month, they will argue that the misconduct hearing itself should be held in private. They're going to be holding a hearing to decide whether or not this should all be made private. Will that hearing be public? Likely not. And the reason is if they have to discuss the reasons why they want to be private, if they discuss the reasons in public and then the hearing officer says, OK, yeah, we can go private, it's not private anymore. It's already out there. The Ontario Judicial Council is the oversight body that disciplines judges and has been chastised for its slow move toward transparency. The last available public report is from 2014, when 31 complaints against judges were received. 28 were dismissed for being out of jurisdiction or unfounded. Two were referred to a chief justice, and one was ordered to a hearing. This legal analyst says even in a profession that has been cloaked in secrecy, the case of Justice John Keist is unusual. As someone who is an advocate for a more transparent judiciary, does something like this concern you? I don't know enough to know whether I can be concerned or not, and that's a problem itself. So, yes, in an indirect way, we, we need to know a little bit more about what this is. And it may be quite valid, it may not, we just don't know. And frankly, being in a state of uncertainty and having uh, a disciplined body simply say, trust us, may not be good enough for many people, including many in the public. Now, the Ontario Judicial Council has completed a 2015 report. It hasn't yet been public, though, because it hasn't been tabled at Queen's Park. As for Justice Keist, his attempt for a private uh, misconduct hearing will be held in private next month.